What's going on YouTube welcome back to another GTA 5 online video today I'm gonna give you guys a small guide on the Kosatka the new submarine I'm gonna tell you guys what you can do with it how it works and also which upgrades you should get and which upgrades you shouldn't get so first of all if you want to buy it for the people who don't know you first have to go to the music locker next to the casino it's actually a club under the casino you will have a small intro to the DLC then you can go ahead and go to Warstock and on Warstock the price will be between 2.2 mil for the minimum and it can go up to 9 or 10 mil if you actually get all the upgrades. So the upgrades are the color, the flag, the sonar station, the guided missiles, the weapon workshop and then also the moonpoon vehicles, the sparrow and the kraken avisa. If you don't have a lot of money, just get the regular version for 2.2 mil. You can already do the heist, you can make a lot of money with it. If you have a little bit of extra cash, get the Sparrow as well because the Sparrow is very, very good for the prep missions and it's very useful in general. You can also just request it and it will spawn right next to you. The Avisa, the Kraken Avisa, the mini sub, don't get it. Don't get this, it's very shit and not useful at all. Then the Weapon Workshop. You can get it, but I already have a lot of weapon workshops in other buildings or things that I have, properties that I have, so I didn't get it on this. The guided missiles, it's fun to use. You can get this. It's like a missile that you can fire. I will show you guys in a bit. The sonar station, don't get it. And then the flag and the color you can pick, of course. So if you don't have a lot of money, 2.2 mil. If you do have a little bit of extra cash, get the sparrow as well. If you like to shoot people in online, get the guided missiles as well. The sonar system and the Avisa big no-no so when you spawn in the um, Kosatka when you buy it you also automatically spawn here so your spawn location is being changed you will spawn over here so you have like a wardrobe a bed and if you want to get to the main planning room go here go to the left up these stairs I know it can be very confusing especially if you're new to it so and then to the left and then you basically have the main room where you can do everything so over here in the main room we have a planning screen for the heist so if you want to start the heist you can do it over here and you have to be registered as a vip ceo or mc president then over here you have the helm of the kosatka this is basically where you can drive it and also you can fast travel through here so top left you guys will see the options square to fast travel for me it's 2k right now i think after you do the heist it's 2k and before it's 10k so you can fast travel all across the Los Santos Island. You cannot go to the new island, sadly. Then if you want to drive it, press X. And I have to say it's really, really slow. I kind of expected it, but it's still nice that you can drive it. For example, with the yacht, you cannot drive it like this. So if you want to go down, hold X. So underwater. If you want to go up, hold square. This is for PlayStation, by the way. Normally, you also have the controls the first time that you do it or the first couple of times top left. Then if you want to fire a torpedo, press circle, but you can't really see it. You do see like the lock thing, but you can't see them because they're underwater. Maybe you saw that. Yeah, you see like a little bit of a spark. If you want to use the sonar system, if you have it, press R3. And then you can basically scope out these little chests. You can see them on the map. I cannot expand it because then they disappear. But you have like these little chests that you can find with the sonar system. And then if you press right on D-pad, you also have a periscope that you can use to look around. Then if you want to go back to the inside, just press triangle or the button that you normally use to exit or enter a vehicle. And that's pretty much what you can do at this chair. Then over here, we have the guided missiles. The guided missiles, uh, you kind of have the same at the facility. So it's basically just a huge missile that you fire out of the Kosatka. It has a cooldown time of 55 seconds, I think. And if you want to kill someone, doesn't matter, like a player or a NPC or a cop, you can use this. It's pretty cool. It's also pretty fast, I think. The one thing that I kind of don't like is that you can't see the impact of it. So, for example, if I land here, it just crashes, which is normal because it explodes. But it's nice to also see what you just did and the damage. So then you have a cooldown time of 55 seconds. Then over here, again, you have the periscope. So the same thing. If you want to look around it's cool but it doesn't have a huge use so you can just look around see what's happening and then you can also lock on but i don't really see the use of this lock on if someone can tell me and then circle to exit then over here you have a orange ladder if you want to exit the kosatka if you want to go for a swim 
Then on the other side over there, you guys can see it, you also have the same orange ladder, you can also exit from there. Then if you go through here, and then on the right, the first thing that you have are the scuba gear. So the scuba gear, if you want to change or just get in your regular outfit, you can do it over here. If you want a different scuba gear, you can also adjust that. I will show you guys in a minute how you can do this. Then over here we have the sparrow. So this is the thing that you should definitely get. If you want to modify it, just get on it. Normally you don't have missiles on it. You can buy them for 240k. It's all right, I guess. So press right on D-pad if you want to modify. Then you can either put machine guns on them or missiles, missiles 240k, machine guns 195, and then respray 7.5k for every color. If you press R2, you will just exit the Kosatka. We will do that in a bit. And over here, you have a ladder that goes down to the other moon pool vehicle. If you have it, the Avisa, it sucks because it goes very slow. It does have a sonar system on it by standard, but uh, it's still not worth it. It goes too slow, in my opinion. You can go with four people. It looks nice. It looks very nice, but it's just too slow to actually use in online. So uh, you cannot modify this, by the way. So you cannot modify it. Nothing on it. No guns. No, nothing at all. Then over here we have the Toreador, so you can also store this in a regular garage, by the way, this is 3.3 mil on uh, Warstock. And the Toreador also has the sonar system on it, so the best thing to actually find these crates is the Toreador, I would say. It has a boost, it's fast, it has guns, it's good. The Avisa and the Submarine are too slow to actually find stuff underwater. But um, the Toreador you cannot modify over here. So that's pretty much all the interesting things in the Kosatka. You also have other rooms with engines, generators, all of that, a kitchen, but it doesn't have a use to it. You can check it out, but basically uh, you will kind of get lost because this thing is actually pretty big. But uh, the interesting things I just showed you guys. Now let's go to the land right now with the Sparrow. So I will also show you guys some options that you can do for the Kosatka. And basically the reason why I said that the Sparrow is very good, especially for the prep missions is you can basically park it in the Kosatka and you cannot do this with the Oppressor Mark II or a Buzzard. So every time that you take your Oppressor to the Kosatka for like a prep mission that you want to start or to return something, then it will get destroyed because it's in the water and you will have to pay 10k every time. Now a way to actually prevent this is you can put the Kosatka on the land and then you can just get on it and your Oppressor won't get destroyed. But still I think the Sparrow is easier because with the Sparrow you can just adjust the location of the Kosatka as well and if you place it on the beach for example you always have to go back to the beach and if you don't do that you can just return it to storage, request it back when you need it and then it will always spawn very close to you. So the services that you have with the Kosatka, first let me show by the way how you can re-enter. So with the Sparrow, just hover over it and then you will get the option, enter the Kosatka. For the Toreador and the Avisa, you have to hover under it, so in the water. Okay, so right now we're on the land and let's take a look at the interaction menu, go to services and then go to Kosatka. Now if you want to request it, it's the first option, obviously right now it's already in the water so I can't request it. If you want to request the Sparrow or the Avisa, you can also do it through this. And when you do, they actually spawn very close to you. That's also very nice. You can also request a dinghy. A dinghy, this is free, so you always have it. And then it will also spawn very close to you over there. That's also pretty nice. Then other options that you have in the services menu for the Kosatka are the return options. So if I want to return my Sparrow, I can return it. If I want to return my Kosatka, I can return it. Other things that you can do, for example, is also surface the Kosatka. So if it's underwater, you can surface it or you can return it to open water. So like I said, if you get it on the beach, you can also return it and actually um, get it back in the open water. Now this guy wants to ride with me, so let's just get in. And like I said, you can also return the dinghy. Then you also have access options. So who do you want in your Kosatka? And then also for the moon pool vehicles, the same like you do with every vehicle. Then you have the empty options, so if you want to empty your Kosatka, or you can also just empty the helm, and the helm is basically where you can drive it, that's also an option. And then the scuba gear, if you want to adjust it, so the standard scuba gear, you can do it over here. I don't have other scuba gear though, but I think you can get it in the clothing store. It's quite expensive though, so I didn't get it. But the black scuba gear, you always get standard if you have the Kosatka. Now for example, if I want to request the Avisa right now, 
I just did it. Now I had a cooldown on the Sparrow. You guys can see it also spawns very close. The same with the Sparrow, it will spawn very close. And then we can also request the Kosatka itself. And then you have to wait a little bit, but it will also spawn very close. So that's very cool about the Kosatka. You can use this to actually uh, return it and request it back. And this way in preps, you can actually do it a lot faster. So the Kosatka, a little bit far right now. So over there, but uh, yeah, it has to be in deep water, I guess. But you can get there with the dinghy or with the sparrow very easily. So guys, I think that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace out, you guys.